All right, hello everyone. Welcome to Exercise Testing Lab 1. Um, your TA, Robert Lewis. Today in this video, we're going to be talking about how to enter the anthropometric data into the Excel forms that were provided to you uh, on an email earlier this week. Okay, um, so we're going to go ahead and start from ground zero, basically. Um, what you will be seeing uh, if you open up that email that was sent to you. Um, you have several options, several attachments, but we're going to look at specifically anthropometric calculations. Okay, Open that up, and that will bring you to a sheet that looks just like that. Okay, um, I want you to notice just a couple things on this sheet. Uh, number one, that there are several tabs on the lower left-hand side. Height, weight, circumference, and waist to hip, and skin folds. Okay, We'll be going through each one of those tabs as we move along. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to split screen here so that we can see the Excel sheet on the left hand side and we can have a copy of the data from your guys' lab on the right hand side. Okay, um, now I want you to notice something else. On the Excel sheets, if a space is filled with DIVO, okay, D I V O is like what I like to call it, um, that means there's a formula entered into that space and you should not change it okay um, also if like not all of them are Devo some of them are just simply highlighted with a light blue on my screen if you can't see it tilt your screen just a little bit um, do not enter any information into these cells so you can see these are blue here also these ones are blue and you'll see why in just a second so what we're gonna do is go through and we're gonna use subject DK from one of my labs as an example, um, you notice here if we scroll up, we have females up on the top. We have males here down on the bottom. So make sure that you know whether you're any, entering in females or males um, because you'll have to enter in um, the males in their particular space. Okay. Um, so first thing we're going to start with is subject. And again, we're on the left-hand tab, which is height and weight. So initials are DK. Excuse me. And then we have age is 21, weight is 145 pounds, and check it out, as soon as you enter weight in pounds, uh, weight in kilograms just shows up. Okay, that's because there's a formula there that calculates it for you, so you don't have to actually divide by 2.2046, which makes it really nice. Now this next um, column here, you don't need to enter anything into that column. Okay, move on, as well as this one. You don't wanna do anything in relative weight, it's actually figuring well relative weight for you already okay we do enter in height in inches though so height in inches for Derek or for DK excuse me is 145 and that gives us three it's uh, a little up oh, not where that's right that's not 145 we're looking at 69 inches and that gives us 179.4 centimeters okay so Again, just like the weight in pounds, the height in inches is automatically converted to centimeters, okay? Now, as we move on from column to column, height squared, lean body weight to height squared, all this is already filled in, and that's because there are formulas in the spreadsheet that figure these things for you. You'll eventually be using these values uh, for comparing your data, um, either putting your data into tables or uh, plotting your data on graphs okay so make sure that you um, remember that these are located here uh, lean body weight uh, height squared for example percent fat uh, to height squared is 4.6 all the way through the sheet so go ahead if you're working on your sheet now pause this presentation and enter in all of your males and all of your females um, I recommend that you have at least four of each four males and four females for all the data um, you might need six. Now, I haven't actually revised or looked over every single uh, graph that you need, um, but just in case, if you have six, like we do in this particular sheet, you might want to enter in all six. And if you only use four, then it's only you know two to four minutes um, wasted. So, all right, now pause and enter in all your information. Otherwise, we're going to move on to circumference, waist, and hip. That's this tab on the bottom left-hand side the second tab over okay we're gonna continue on with subject DK now notice up here 
first of all, we're on female, so I've got to check myself before I wreck myself. And i got to go down to male. Okay. All right. So male, we have uh, DK. And you'll notice that these are divided by age. So we have 17 to 26 and greater than 26. DK is 21 years old, so he falls in this category. So we put 21. We've got weight in pounds, 145. Figures out weight in kilos already. Circumference for form. The way I want you to do this is I want you to take the average of the three circumferences. Okay, So I'm going to actually scroll down to the area where we have circumference, which is right here. And we're going to go ahead and begin to enter that data. So I'm just going to estimate this. Don't go off of my values, but I want you to actually add the three values up and then divide by three okay, to get the average. So for the form, we've got, let's see, 28, 28, 27. Let's say 27.7. Circumference for arm extended, 29, 29, and 30. Let's say 29.8. Uh, circumference for calf, we have, the calf is not located on this sheet, and to avoid um, searching, um, I'm just going to go ahead and enter an arbitrary number uh, 16 for that. But when you're actually doing, actually it's going to be a little, it's going to be more than 16. Let's put 20. Um, no, let's put 36 to not screw things up completely. When you're actually doing uh, your sheet, you want to look uh, on the data collection sheet and make sure you find that calf. Okay, circumference for abdominal or abdomen 77. For buttocks, we have what is that 96, 95, 96. So let's do 95.8. And for waist, remember waist is different from abdomen, so we're going to scroll down, and here we have. Uh, waist. In other words, uh, it's also labeled abdomen 1. So we have 76, 77, 76. And so let's go ahead and put in 76.8. Okay. Alrighty. So let's scroll over and see what that gave us. We have percent fat from circumference. is estimated to be 13.8. Uh, fat mass for, from circumference is 9.1. Uh, fat free mass is 56.7 and waist hip ratio is 0 0.081. Now this is nice because uh, you do not have to do all these individual calculations for each subject. It's already in the sheet itself. All right, so all you have to do is enter in these circumferences. If you're entering your data now, go ahead and pause the presentation. Enter in all of your males and all of your females, paying attention to first the male versus female tab and second the age tab. So make sure you're entering them into the right uh, place, okay? All right, otherwise we're going to move on to skin folds. All right, skin folds is the third tab over from the left, skin folds, okay? We're going to continue to use DK, and we're going to scroll back up to DK's um, skin fold values, which are located here on the first page. All right, so let's go ahead, and something to note real quick, you'll notice that uh, the top row of the male and female is actually filled in. That is for example purposes. Don't get that confused with your own data. You can either go through and delete those or you can just ignore them. Okay, you choose. Um, okay, so we're going to enter in DK and it's going to seem redundant to enter in the initials of all of your subjects, but it will help if you come up with a discrepancy in your values. You can actually match a lot easier if you don't skip this step. Okay, um, so age 21. Weight in pounds is 145. Weight in kilos, this one doesn't have the formula for it, but we just refer over here. Uh, weight in kilos was 65.8. So let's go ahead and put in 65.8. Uh, circumference for the chat, or excuse me. Now, we're doing skin folds here, okay? And we're doing one, two, three, one, two, three for one particular site. That's why I told you in class that you want at least three measurements for each one, okay? Um, the reason for this is we're going to compare the first three measurements to the second three measurements um, and see how well you did as a test taker um, or body fat test taker. All right, so we're going to go ahead and begin with chest. We've got subject one here. I'm going to go through this rather quickly. We've got six, seven, seven. Oops, I'm not going down. Let's delete that. My bad. Six, seven, and seven. Okay. Now you'll notice um, right where my tab is here, highlighted, 
you're not going to enter anything in that. That's the skin fold chest average.